outstanding. Welcome, welcome, welcome again to another tutorial video. It's a boy Eldorado, the hunting at top. Anyways, feeling a little bit good today, so I'm gonna drop an extra tutorial again and thing in this one. It's a 10 must have uh, plugins for modern dance and music. So, without further ado, remember to subscribe, hit the bell notification button, and join our WhatsApp group. We meet other producers, beat makers, graphic designers etc etc to engage in a lot of educational um uh conversations if you don't know about the music i probably want to share and meet new people for work with and so forth anyways let's move on this video anyways <laughs> first and foremost on the list we have uh extra records serum why this is first on the list is like this um synthesizer or synthesized model plugin uh it has a very clean sound for modern day music when it come on to sound design and it, it just have a different sound and flavor um and this particular plugin it have is uh, it oscillators fx matrix in which i don't know about these two that much and thing I have, have an updated version. I've had this for the longest while now. Uh, you have oscillator A and oscillator B that also has a filter, um, a noise generator, uh, three envelopes, four LFOs, um, and a couple more control. I'm not familiar with all uh, the specs of this uh, particular plugin, but I use it very much. And I just turn knobs to get sound. Yeah, I'm not really deep, deep, and of a professional in sound design, but I can do my thing. Anyways, so I would highly recommend this for modern, for modern uh, dance and music and thing. A lot of records nowadays has some sounds from Serum and thing, in which you can even load a preset and alter the song by just turning a few knobs and thing so serum is definitely on this list um, the next plugin i have is from native instruments contact 5 in which they came out with contact 6 a while ago and thing but i haven't updated the version but in which i got the new libraries and thing uh and it seems to be working um with this version so i think with me you see if something like an update really come out i'm really picky fit, picky about updating myself if it not really give me no problem but if me have update if it's some stuff work with it then so be it you know i have loaded any of these i just loaded them up in the library the the yeah I just leave it as is but um hopefully i can make what instrumental funny and really uh show you guys in another tutorial and thing or you really saw no i'm really think about it because you know anything have to do with analog and probably hybrid stuff that's usually me so i'm gonna leave that for another video and why i'm recommend this is like contact for me as the largest library in all of music it's like it's the the the, the rumple of all libraries of libraries because it has an extensive amount of uh people who make libraries for this thing um they have really high quality sound libraries so that's why i'm really use it especially when it comes down to my strings them you know my string them are with thick fat fluffy beefy what you name it clean whatever that's it so most of my strings in my instruments them really come from this particular plugin so i highly recommend it and very picky and make sure you have hard drive space to spare whenever you start go up and downloading buying library spree so i recommend this for um 
must have modern day dancehall production. Third on the list is Omnisphere. Yeah, Omnisphere 2, in which this is the updated version. You can work with um hardware some hardware synthesizers and thing. So I really recommend this if you are into synthesizer, have synthesize synthesizer we can um have MIDI out or some other connection for the but I don't really remember because I never really watch all of the um, demonstration where Omnisphere did um, Spectre Sonics is put out so it's a fairly great plugin you have an extensive library and thing and um, it have a lot of sounds if you, you are the type of producer who really mixes genres and thing I think this is one of the go-to plugins for mixing genre and stuff so yeah man it's a uh plugin from uh Spectre Sonics. i think the lab the whole library of trillion um the moog keyscape and omnisphere really add up to about 100 and something gigabyte so it's a fairly large plugin which it has um I think it have eight different modules we can route to MIDI out uh, about four different patch FX RPG to part and so forth and the orb which I have already full run here I just load presets and just use it and it has an it has oscillators filters modulation LFOs and envelopes in which you can really manipulate uh, a preset and still make it into something unique and you can use and bypass effects etc etc so it's a really great plugin for how to for modern day um, dancer and thing and reggae or mixed genre Jamaican stuff anyways Fourth on this on this list is Piano V2 from Atura and thing. Yeah. So I use this a lot of times. You know, probably low behind the main sound or with strings, etc. Why I really recommend this uh piano plugin. It it sound fairly real. It it is wide and it's simply um it, it, it just the interface just looks simple you know overall it just looks simple um you can get really into the whole you know designing and how you really want a piano sound if you really want the sound unique whatever you name it you can you have the control them down here so you can really shape it how you really want it but fairly it sounds really nice so if you, you are the type of person who really make um, emotional type beats this piano is fairly for you and it's it's really clean it's a clean piano unlike some other pianos that really use you know really that clean 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 some I um, used previously back years ago you know really that you know clean in which dirty is good sometimes but if you are piano I like when it really lush and so forth so i really recommend this your mother dear um reggae and dance uh, music you can switch between um piano different different piano as you can see and so forth and piano settings mic settings room settings reverb such you name it you know it have um simply but a nice interface and control settings so anyways fourth on this fifth on this list is real guitar from music lab and think why i really recommend this plugin you hear it in a lot of beats uh um for a couple of years well now you can't really hear it, you just have a distinguished sound 
and thing is like when you use this um, VST is like people know you know because it just have a sound to itself and really like it it, it, it have an extensive amount of control presets um, type of sound or you really want the strum player and thing you have a uh, rigged stuff inside of this and thing harmony card bass and card bass and pick so you know you can do a lot of stuff with this this plugin and thing so i'm really recommend it for a uh, like if you make reality type dance style beat and thing it is something that me highly recommend and thing so yes yes it's on this list real guitar by music lab and thing so uh six on this list is sin master 2 from uh our kev kv 3301 audio i probably have a different name for it i think i saw it um somebody use it a while uh about a year or so a year for so long but i probably sincere i think i sincere really got this plugin and thing and me use it on a lot of tracks that me really have it's my goal to feel like little melodies and uh pad sounds and so forth it's like a go-to plugin now and it, it it has a fairly good sound engine behind it and the laying out of the routing of uh the sound is you know it just straightforward like some plugin really uh, figure out how the routing or the, the sound really works and thing fit really even click on all of this stuff it just it just straightforward you know i'm really like plugins that really straightforward you know if you go over here so you have to click over this so you, have to, you know it just straightforward and thing and it it is nice clean lush nice really like it and things so it's a plugin really recommend for modern day dance or music and thing uh next up on number on my list is drummer from studio link vst and thing why i'm really um recommend this is like let me show you something i make dance or trap music right and this is one of the reasons why I think we can find it. Alright. I'm gonna show you the reason why I'm really use it. And think Trap Academy. Uh yeah, this is the reason why I'm really using it. Distinguish um, snare sound. Why I'm really used it, and it, it it has a lot of sounds in it in which music on some of my tracks, like on my trap um, rhythm, uh, my dance or trap rhythm. Use some sounds out of it, and thing in which me to try. I have an urban library, a trap library, and thing, but it's not quite finished yet, and thing. So this this is like a go-to plugin for me if I'm mean, not really in the sound design mood, mood with um snares and kick and all of these things so it's a fairly good plugin for really have modern deer is especially if you are searching clean drum sounds and it it's it really hard if you really get them and things so i recommend getting this plugin from studio vst they make a lot of great stuff so check them out check them out and thing the eighth plugin on my list is hats uh hats is it i think from d16 make this plugin and thing it's a hi-hat plugin in which it's like a more of creating hi-hat so so if you're into like creating stuff from from scratch like me at times this is the way to go if you want to like lo-fi 
um, create something from a high hat from low fi or whatever you might want to do just create something fresh and new this is the like a hi hat this is the plugin that you know more than recommend for you man like extreme endeavor <laughs> yeah we know see that really love the plugin here too and thing yeah man check it out man good with the uh the whole designing a thing from scratch so you can create your own hi hat you can import your samples and really manipulate them so them sound just totally different when you use them in one different track and thing so i've used it many times and thing you might not see it in a sound tutorial because you know sometimes you just sit down and just design stuff and call it a day I'm load it in on me one drum kit uh samples the my drum kit them over here check them out over on my website and thing yeah plugins like these I'm really used to really design some stuff or plug it or sounds I'm really used from years ago in which we still use them now and thing it's all over here in which there are a um uh um one shot samplers that we really acquire over the years up on this list the ninth plugin on this list is kick two from sonic academy now this is a kick model bs plugin whatever 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 you might call it now you can you really use this with design a kick how you really want it and thing all right so let me try something so for instance uh, mute the kick the click hear that unmute it you have a limiter on it so it won't clip go over a threshold yeah so it, it's really great for design your own kick and thing to hold you really need it in your truck it had a compressor also in it you have whatever the hell is that um pitch click three different clicks sub control a limiter a slide i'm not sure what the render does because i haven't touched it and anything and i don't know a lot of control you can save a preset you can save a preset i don't know if i can it has a lot of control so i recommend checking it out and spend some time on it and create some new kicks you know and bust the place yeah man like extreme endeavor again would really love this particular plugin so i recommend him to check it out and just be himself get wild all up in this plugin and the hi-hat plugin yeah last but not least on this list is spire in which spire is a really great plugin for like weird synth sound and the con most of the controls are up front are four different oscillated great uh and each oscillate i think it have uh one two three four envelopes uh four lfos and fx module a lot of control on this for people who really down into sound designing for dance and, and so forth it's a really great plugin the sound engine behind it great the, the presets are already great and things so it's a plugin you really can't get wild into and thing forget um like melodic rpgators um low very low but warm thick sounds yeah it's a it's a real go-to plugin for me um and i highly recommend it for dance or music and thing so check it out anyways thanks for watching this video again 
like if you like if you don't like you don't you know what to do um don't forget to subscribe hit the bell add a um, notification button check out my website for goodies um i got a free jump kit up there and join our whatsapp group it's a small community for people who are really into this um uh what do you call it now youtube channel and thing so again 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 it's elorado visit elorado production the tk for drum kits so far we just take time building the website and stuff so check it out don't forget to subscribe leave a like and tell me what you think in the comments below about plugins you can tell me if you really check out some other plugins in which not all the plugins that we have um we really installed back because i format my system sometime in february i've installed back everything because you know the consistent consistency of the workload so um uh, really install back everything in which my hard drive kind of full up with the installation and all of these stuff so uh me kind of halt installation until i buy a bigger ssd drive so big up again i'm seeing you in our next video and don't forget to leave the comments below peace out